Welcome back everyone. You may be stuck in a situation where your MacBook, the trackpad of that MacBook, just isn't working for some reason. Now, as always, this can happen for a couple of different reasons. There's usually never one reason why this happens. The very first thing I'd recommend doing is making sure and double checking that the rest of your computer may actually be functional. So if you go ahead and click on the keyboard a couple of times, or if you have or if you have a touch bar, if you go ahead and wiggle that touch bar around or try to maneuver things, you want to see if the whole entire computer is frozen or if that trackpad just isn't functional. Now, if you click on the other keys and nothing is working, or even if you click on some other keys and, you know, things are, you know, still functioning, you may just have to go and restart your computer. So all you want to do is find the power button of your MacBook, and you just want to hold it down for just a couple of seconds. And then once it starts rebooting and it goes back into that Apple logo, you just want to go ahead and boot that MacBook up. And then it'll go ahead and come back to its home screen. And at this point, you want to go ahead and double check that the computer and the trackpad is actually working this time. So all you have to do is go and like move around that trackpad a little bit. And if it moves, then you're pretty much set. It was probably just some software glitch or some random crash that happened. You just had to restart it. If it still doesn't work when you restart your computer, you may want to double check that you don't have another, you know, input device inputted on your computer. So sometimes I've heard stories of people who have like a, you know, a plugged in Mac or a plugged in device of some sort, such as like a mouse or something. And that for some reason enables and disables that actual trackpad that you have if that ends up being the case all you really have to do is just go ahead and just unplug whatever you have and make sure nothing is plugged into that macbook and try again if that still doesn't work you may want to go ahead and for the time being plug in a different device and put like a magic trackpad or a you know magic mouse of some sort and seeing if that works if that works then which most of the time it probably will what you want to do is you want to update your computer so you want to use that other input device Go to your Apple logo on the top left corner, click on system preferences, go ahead and click on the update panel or the software update panel, and you want to go ahead and update your computer to the latest version because there may have been a glitch with the version you were on. And once it downloads and updates, it's going to take a long time. You want to see if your trackpad is working then. If it's still not working, you may want to contact Apple support and have them take a look at it because it may be a hardware defect and you may have to send it to Apple for them to repair it. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.